Hey guys, Eric here from Expedition Electric. We're gonna install this torque arm on a 1000 watt of Walmart rear hub drive motor. And the battery I put on, or put in the back here, it's 48 volt, 15 amp hour lithium ion battery. Here's what we use to install the torque arm. Also used a hex key set and a pair of wire clippers. Uh, I have all of these items, including the torque arm, listed in the video description. So here's the rear hub dropout of my e-bike. See, that's where the 1000 watt motor is here. Notice how it doesn't go into the frame too far. I'm gonna install the torque arm to make it a bit safer. Attach this to the bike to help take some of the pressure off of this frame here. And um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got the washer here from the e-bike kit and the one from the torque arm. I'm gonna put the one from the e-bike kit back on here. And then I'm gonna put this piece on to see which way it fits. And I found that it doesn't fit in this direction right here. So I'm gonna have to put it, let's see, in the direction that it works, which is, that's the only direction that it'll fit on the bike. Notice I put the steel arm on closest to the wheel and that's because it fit best right there. Uh, you might have to put it on the other side, depending on your bike. And then also I put the bolt facing out because this is the only way that it fit. It didn't fit well facing the other direction. Once I get this on here, now you are gonna need the hex key. I went ahead and got a bunch of hex keys when I got into bikes and because you use, use them for a lot of different things on the bike. I'm gonna take it off here so I can tighten it with the adjustable wrench and hex key and then put it right back on the bike. Now I'm gonna take this washer and put it here. Hey, way I can really tighten it. So I've got one wash on the inside, one wash on the outside of it. And I'm gonna really... Now I'm gonna use the Phillips head screwdriver to loosen up this screw and then install the metal ring around this steel support. So there we go. Notice how this screw comes out. Keep it going in the same way. Next, you're gonna put the metal ring through the long skinny opening on the metal part. So you're gonna put the ring through there and then connect it to your bike. I'm gonna use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten it and it takes a little while to get all the metal to go all the way through, but you wanna really tighten it very securely to your bike. Then use your adjustable wrench to tighten your bolts keep that rear hub on your bike. So I'm gonna use a pair of clippers here to shorten this. I'm gonna go clip it right off. Make sure to leave some of the metal so that you can rehook it if you ever need to take off your tire. And there we go, we've got the torque arm secure on there. The bike wheel bolted back on and an extra safety precaution in the DIY e-bike. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Stay up to date with all bike and e-bike information.